Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about right now is the fact that there's 9,000 gallons of sewage a month that are going into the wastewater system. And that's the storm drain system, not the sewer. The storm drain carries it straight into the Santa Monica Bay. Okay, and this is in Southern California. And this is regarding the monthly wastewater of 600 recreational vehicles or RVs that are being used by homeless people in the Harbor Gateway area. This is located in the far southern part of LA. And according to the 2023 point in time count released last month by the Los Angeles Homeless Service Authority, there are over 9,280 homeless people living in about 600 and or sorry 6,800 uh, RVs in the LA County. So this, you know, obviously, you know, I, I'm happy that they're not actually homeless. That they they do have a residence per se because they ha they have RVs and there is such a thing as called RV living. Okay, but we have to figure out, you know are the best option here for, you know, draining the toilets, if you will. Okay. So the estimate number, okay, actually translates to be about 102,000 gallons of sewage every single month that's getting dumped into the ocean. And all of that is being released into the storm drains, like I said, and directly contaminating the oceans and the beaches. And like, I'm not talking about just going into directly into the water. You, you have to remember the water percolates into the sand and you take a walk on the beach. You're going to get this stuff on your body. If there's hazardous materials or bacteria, yikes, infection, right? So normally there's RV service providers who also collect sewage from like rented out RVs. Like if we go to like RV campsites, right? There's places there to dispose of this. But if you can't afford the fee to park your RV for your RV living, then obviously where do you go to dump it, right? And then there's the mobile toilets and there's required to obtain a license to handle the wastewater, right? And sewage is required to be dumped at a licensed facility, but the homeless that park in such their, their, their RVs along the suburban streets, they're not following the regulations. So it's common for local health departments to now have to close the beaches following rainstorms, uh, with that, and I'm not talking about rainstorms like rainfall, thunder, lightning. No, rainstorms that are with litter, trash, chemicals, and debris that get washed ashore from the storm drains that go into the oceans. So the prolonged rainy season and the excessive amount of water pollution have led to more beaches in LA County closing for longer periods of time this year including the Santa Monica Pier in Santa Monica, Mother's Beach in Marin, um, Marina del Rey, and over a dozen others. And the explosion of motor homes in the city not only leads to water pollution, but is also affecting residents and their well-being and their living quality. So residents may also find that these RVs are in no parking zones and they're blocking regular traffic, but can't get them to be towed away due to city contracts with towing companies regarding the hazardous material. So the majority of these motorhomes are inoperable as well and can only serve as a living space. They're not functioning, so they're just a shelter, but they're on the street. It puts them in a great area of the law in, re in regard to like camping, if you will. 
So it's a very difficult situation to address. Some are renting out these motor homes to those who cannot afford like regular housing and are actually committing various crimes in the process. There are people that are buying the RVs from a wrecking yard and they tow them out to the street and they control the turf. And if you don't pay the rent or the protection money, they burn you out. So what's the solution here? Officials need to target its growing homeless crisis at its root by dealing with the issues, the mental health issues, the addiction issues, instead of just focusing on temporary or permanent housing because maybe that's how they got there in the first place. And we should not be going in reverse or doing anything in reverse. Many homeless people have compelling life stories. Have you ever actually spoken to a homeless person? Do you know how they got there? Sometimes it's not because of an addiction. You know, sometimes it's not because of what you just automatically think in your head. You know, sometimes it's the most saddest story you've ever heard in your life. And they actually do need help. And it's not because they're resisting that help. It's because they literally just can't get that help because people always, there's a stigma that's over their head. And people always think the worst. Oh, they're just out there because they're addicts and that, that, that. No, you know, that's not always the truth. You know, we have a lot of homeless vets, PTSD, you know, the children is what I worry about. You know, they're out there with their moms and dads, you know, because it takes literally sometimes two, three incomes to run a household, especially with today's, uh, you know, economy and they can't do it. They can't pull it off. So, you know, it's not always what you think it is, you know? And I know there's a lot of people out there, especially me, you know, uh, we have compassion for them, but it is so important not to be blinded by emotions, especially when regarding this issue, because not everybody has the same story, Hmm? but don't blanket them with the stigma. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, uh, that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Okay. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless. Ciao.